so I'm super excited to share with you how my project plan is going. This is my four month update. So I wanted to share with you my progress. This is a year long project plan I'm doing. So I started it in January. So let's get started. I have 10 products right here that I wanted to get through for this year. A lot is foundation, so that's why I haven't been making huge practices on my foundations because I'm going to start just doing one specific foundation and do it every time I do my makeup. First, I have the Wet n Wild foundations that I am trying to get through. I am almost done with this one. I would say only like two or three more uses and then that's done. And then I have the same shade in a full foundation and then a darker shade for when I'm darker in the summer. And these are really nice, actually. I do like them. I think the smell is kind of weird, but I honestly can get through it. So if you are really sensitive to smells, I would not recommend. But I do really like it. I like the coverage, and I like the way it stays on my face and lasts all day. My other two foundations I'm trying is the Maybelline foundation. You guys know I've been working on this for a while. This one's just about done. It's right here. And... I'm excited to get through this. This is the second foundation I'm going to start working on right when I get done with the Fenty foundation one. This one is also just about done. I would say like another month or so I'd be able to get through this. I'm going to be wearing makeup more often in the next month. So I'm excited to get through my makeup. But foundation is just so hard since I just last so long. This is all the way down here. So we're at the home stretch. So I'm going to get through this one first then this one, and then I'm going to get through the other foundation I'm also trying to get through is the Hourglass one. This is also a darker shade, so I'm going to be wearing it more when I get a little darker. And this one is about, I would say, halfway done. And I'm going to get through that one after I get through the Fenty foundation and the Maybelline one, and then start on my Wet n Wild foundations. I'm not too worried about my Wet n Wild foundations because at the end of the year, depending how they look, I might toss them or I might just put them onto my next year's project pan so not too worried about these really really focusing on these three ones right now because I really honestly do like a lot of these formulas I really like the Maybelline one but I just want to get through it so I can get through my foundations and just buy what I like the hourglass is okay I just think it's too expensive for what it does on my face I like it but I don't love it so I don't think it's worth the price and the Fenty foundation is pretty good I would recommend it. I have been wearing it more and I like it a lot more than I did in the years past so I do like it. I just feel like it makes me oily sometimes so I don't know and I've also heard it breaks out some people so I would try a sample of it before you even buy it so I do like this one and I'm excited to get through these a little more. My next product I'm trying to get through is my Essence Insta Matte Makeup Setting Spray. This is about I would say halfway through. I have so many setting sprays for some reason to get through. So once I get through this, I'm going to start on another one. It's about halfway, so I would say I would definitely get through this one at the end of the year. My next one is the L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base. I really like this product. It is just about done. I can kind of see like how it's getting thinner at the bottom and in the middle. It's just about done. I need to get using it though because primers I feel like last so long so I definitely need to be using this more and I'm going to be wearing it every day I wear makeup so hopefully I can get done with this within the next few months and start using some of my other primers. My next primer I'm getting through also is the Becker Backlight Priming Filter. I really do like this product. It's just so big so I think it's worth your money because I like the way it puts a glow in your face and I do like it as a primer. I don't know if I want to repurchase right now just because I have a lot of other primers I like a lot more. But this is okay and it lasts a long time, which is also good. So I think if you are interested in this, I would buy the full size because it's definitely worth your price since it does last a long time. It is really, really pretty though. So maybe in the future, once I get through my makeup, I'll repurchase this. Also, let me know down in the comments if you tried any of this and what your thoughts are on these products. My next product is the Milani Moisture Lock Lip oil and I really do like this. I like to put it on before I do my makeup and then my lips are super smooth and soft for when I put lipstick on when I am done with my makeup so I do really like this and I would repurchase this. It really wasn't that expensive and it lasts a long time so I'm going to try to get through it this year and I think I'm doing pretty good. It's only like three-fourths down but 
I do really like this so it is nice to use. I know I had a problem with doing a project pan in the past and I did products I didn't really like so it was really really hard to get through them. So now I'm focusing on products that I actually do like. My next product I have is the NYX HD Concealer. I really really like this concealer and I would say I'm about halfway done. Sometimes when I pull it out I don't get that much product on it so like right there I didn't really get that much product on it and looking at it it looks like the sides are down so I would say it's about down to here so I'm about done with this one and then I'm gonna start on my other NYX conceal I have as well and just get through more of that stuff so you guys know I love getting through my products because there's just so much that I really want to get through it so that I can actually have what I absolutely love and then my last one is the Too Faced bronzer the chocolate soleil one in medium deep and I love this. It's the matte bronzer, and it's my favorite bronzer of all time. I already have a backup of it. Hopefully, I can get through it by the end of the year, but I really, really love this bronzer. It's just the perfect color for me. Even in the summer, I just darken it up a little more and put extra on, and it's fun to see, like, the little circle growing. So I would say definitely by the end of the year, I would be done with this, but I love it. I would highly recommend it to anyone because it's just so nice and blends so well, and it's matte, which I do like. I've seen some people use like shimmery slash glittery bronzer and it's like, I don't know how I feel about that. So this is like perfectly matte and I love that. It's perfect size. I love, love this. I love the shade. There's also a lighter one and I'm pretty sure there's a darker one as well. So definitely check this out. Too Faced has really good face products. So really, really like this one. So guys, that is the update of my project pan for 2020. I did a four month update. It is a little longer than I said I was going to do. I said I was going to do three months, but... I got a little busy, so I'm doing four months, and then I will update you at the end of summer of what I've finished, because I bet by the end of summer I'll have some of these at least finished, because I'm going to be trying to wear makeup more often to get through this stuff. So definitely let me know down below if you guys are doing a project pan so we can follow each other and keep ourselves accountable of using our makeup. So I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye, guys.